Ojo aje ini loja ini mata ate ni mara rekwete oya o e Ojo aje ini loja eh uh camion -huh. ini mata ate ni mara rekwete oya o e yeah. Bienvenidos a nuestro canal. Yo soy Pablo. Orujo Miriano. And we are Familia, Familia Pablano. Yeah, so today we're um, selling tropical house plants. They look a little beat up, unfortunately. We've been through a lot. It's pretty cold today. But uh, yeah, these are from our abono. So we had a bunch of uh, aguacates, and these are a couple of them that they grew well. So we transplanted them. We have a money plant from the house, and then also uh, these are mango trees. So I was very surprised to see these pop up, but yeah, there's there were quite a number of them. These are the ones that survived and more or less. <laughs> yeah, these are a little roughed up just because of being outside and it got cold. We had some snap freezes, so so they got a little a little cold around the edges. But once we brought them inside, they've been they've been recovering pretty well. Um, but yeah, we'll see if anyone's like us and enjoy uh, tropical surroundings in the winter <laughs> to feel warmer. <laughs> Although I think most people are here for the pumpkins and pumpkin spice stuff. <laughs> They're going exploring. Otra vez, mirar y no tocar se llama respetar, exacto. Entonces no toques nada, Tulio. Andad, a mirar. Oh, otra vez. Solo mirar, no tocar. Son muy bonitas, ¿verdad? Yeah, wow, qué grande. So we bought a few decorative pumpkins and we already sold one of these plants. Um, don't know if we're going to sell them anymore though. <laughs> also bought some edible pumpkins, gourds, squashes, whatever you want to call them. Uh, a couple acorn squash, but not in the bag too. But yeah, these are massive things. That's actually a butternut, they call it a long neck. Um, long neck squash, or long neck pumpkin. This is Kershaw, which is the biggest thing I've ever seen. I don't know if you can see how big it is, but it's really, really big. My hand's pretty big, so it's a really, really big pumpkin. It's supposed to be really tasty, too. Looking forward to it. We'll probably try to plant them, too, later on. See how they grow. Te gusta? Oh. Que interesante, no? Pero no es comestible. No se puede comer. Well, so this guy, um, so I, I was selling all of these, um, all of the plants and stuff, uh -huh. and what ended up happening was, um, after a while, I was like, you know what, I just need to get rid of, get rid of these. Mm -hmm. you know, so I started telling people, okay, you know, I'll, I'll give them to you for free, does anybody want them? And there was like, oh, there was like a group, I don't know, a local, like, homeschooling group and stuff that wanted them, and so... So I was like offering it to them and I was offering it to a couple other people and there were some mm -hmm. other vendors and whatnot who were, um, who were there and I gave, I gave a couple of them away. Mm -hmm. Um, this, this one elderly one, uh, who was selling stuff right next to us, she came to me and was like, you know, see it, you? And, <laughs> and she wanted, um, she wanted one, but she was like, I'm not going to thank you for it. Yeah. And I was kind of weirded out. I was like, why? She said, well, there's like a superstition that you never say thank you for a plant that someone gives to you. 
<laughs> She's like, so I will say I appreciate it. And then, mm -hmm. um, and then this other gentleman who worked uh, selling like flowers and stuff. Mm -hmm. So he came by and and he took one, and I was like, hey, do you want two? I mean, just take two. And he was like, what? He's like, I gotta pay. I gotta pay for these. So I actually ended up getting a lot of a lot of people ended up paying me actually even more for the mm -hmm. plants than I had originally been asking mm -hmm. when I started giving them away. So it was kind of weird. I started making more money when I was giving them for free. <laughs> it's weird. But anyways, and the, and the gentleman that took two was like, oh, really? Thank you. And then he, he held them up and like turned towards the sun. And I thought he was like, like examining them or something. Mm -hmm. And I was kind of like, oh, is everything okay? And like he didn't respond. And then I realized his eyes were closed. And I was like, okay. And then uh, finally he brought him down and and uh, I was like, and I think I asked, like, are you praying or something? What is that? And he said something about basically he was just, just thanking for their creation or something. I don't know, something like that. And I was like, okay, that's cool, man. That's cool. So, yeah, so there was some kind of quirky <laughs> quirkiness that went on. But, uh, <laughs> but, yeah, everyone has their own way of dealing with plants, apparently. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, but, you know, sold the tropical plants in winter, and hopefully they're in good homes now. Now that they're all rehomed, yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, follow us. We're on we're on Facebook, Instagram, etc. And um, and we also uh, this was our last uh, farmers market trip, but we had a number of them. Um, we recorded a couple of them. So um, if you haven't seen those, uh, we have those uh, also on our channel, um, as well as a lot of other things. We're very eclectic. <laughs> Bye now. Bye.